But I was in Chicago, and of course, everything has to end with a bang. First night in Chicago. Remember, these are the shows that were tried to, like, they tried to give these shows away to uh, comedian Gabriel Iglesias. Mm -hmm. Like, the, the Chicago Improv essentially was like, yeah, he wants the dates, so we're going to give them away. And I actually said on my Instagram, y'all, they're trying to give away these Chicago dates, and the sisters wasn't having it. People <laughs> called up there, people emailed up there, people physically went up to the venue, and they fought for me to get my dates back. So it was very important for me to come out here and really knock this out, Nails. So I get out here and first night I'm doing the show and then there's like a ruckus in the back and I can hear like a ruckus. I'm like, what's going on back there? And someone says, somebody back here messing up the show. Somebody <laughs> back here messing up the show. And I said, what's going on? And I hear from the, from the audience, you're everything that's wrong with America. I'm Ooh. like, oh, wow. I was like, am I? You just don't like hearing the truth? You're everything that's wrong with America. I said, nah, the problem is that y'all don't want to hear the truth about this country. And that is why you're what's wrong with America. My man was like, yo, your voice <laughs> got mad deep, yo. <laughs> <laughs> It was so great, though, to see how quick security got there, okay? Because I had my brothers from the nation that was with me, the FOI, but then security of the venue, they beat them there. I mean, I guess they're, you know, they they here all the time at the venue, so they really able to peep shit and get to the get to the bottom of it. They was like, choom, choom. these two brothers look like they've been doing push-ups since 1997, okay? Like, <laughs> like the swollenness, it was just like, swole. So... They went up there, they got him moving, and I said, oh, here we go, y'all. Hit the road, Jack. I don't you come back. We should actually play the audio right here. You hear it? You hear the people? <laughs> the people was here for it. So they got escorted out, and my man was out there when this, with the guy got taken out the venue, and he said that the guy kept talking mess and then even tried to, like, come at the security guards. And the guy is, like, 5'5". Five, five. Trying oh, to like man. come at the security guards who are six five, no exaggeration. <laughs> and then my man said they straight Fresh Prince jazzed him. Like, remember on Fresh Prince of Bel Air, how they would just and like throw, throw jazz? They literally <laughs> like hoisted him out the venue. So you know, go ahead. Well, and, and I don't know if you want to tell this because I know comedians, you guys, you, you protect what you say at your shows. Um, but mm -hmm. can oh, you what tell was us, I? What was I talking yeah, about? What What would you say specifically where he stood up and said what he said? Well, listen, let's be real. If you come to an Amanda Seal show, you know you're going to get conversation about a number of political po po a number of political topics. Specifically, mm -hmm. I'm going to talk about racism. And I feel like at that point in the show, what I was talking about was the difference between white people, people who happen to be white, allies, and co-conspirators. And the, the, the spectrum of where people show up in their whiteness. And also just talking about how important it is at this point, like, you know what, if you out here and you you benefit from white privilege and you need to be busy being louder than us about challenging racism mm. and i think that just set him off but you listen over the course of the show i'm talking about gun control i'm talking about roe v wade i'm talking about i mean i do a different set every set because when i'm in a comedy club and i have five shows over the course of a weekend like just to keep myself entertained i'm not going to do the same set every time mm. but i can't remember exactly what else i was talking about in that set but i know that i did do that bit and I guess that set him off nails. He just couldn't <laughs> couldn't get down with the idea of white people being co-conspirators. And he was very much ex-military. He was also, by the way, he wasn't even white. He was Mexican. Oh. And I'd be like, they mm. don't like you either. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So nonetheless, uh, I ended up on Shade Room, which I think ended up also like selling some more tickets. So shout out to everybody who came out to the shows this weekend. They were incredible. Uh, you know, I think people really had a great time. And I got to say, I want to especially thank people for coming out to Schaumburg, which is an hour away from Chicago. They have no business calling this venue the Chicago Improv. Mm. It is an hour outside of the city. So those are some real, real fans. And thank you to everybody who supported me on this tour. 